That's okay. Yo, what's up? Hello. Here we are. Another podcast. Yep. First of all, thank you for all like the listens. 2,000 listens or something in the last one. That's insane. Yeah. Again, probably a mistake. Probably someone accidentally left it playing. it playing. It feels weird. I'm on the wrong side. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's a podcast. You don't know. Hold on, can we shuffle? Yeah, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So let's shuffle, just explain shuffle. why we shuffle. Normally, I'm Chloe, by the way. I'm Judith. We're the Skit Twins. Um, but yeah, normally Chloe, me, I'm on the right of things. And I'm why. on the left. Yeah, it's always like that, like watching TV or sitting somewhere. Apart from Donegal, I'm Donegal. Oh yeah, right. it's the opposite, yeah. It's weird how you sort of get into the habit of being a certain way. Like, at the dinner table and stuff, we have, like, oh, that's Dad's seat, that's Mum's seat, that's Colin's seat, that's English seat. Like, yeah, everyone, everyone has, has seat, their specific seat, but there was no, like, seating assignment. There's no discussion about it, yeah. it just sort of happens. It's just, that's where I sit. It's like Sheldon, <laughs> you're in, in my, my spot. spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are we all? Feel free to answer that as you Yeah, as you we'll wish. just leave a wee, how are you? Good. Not so bad, that's it's good. So bad. Although, alternatively, how are you? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh. It'll, it'll be alright, never worry. At least you've got your health. Yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. Unless you're sick, in which case, yes. at least you've got this podcast. Yeah. That's the main thing we... <laughs> Imagine that was the one thing you had going for you. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we were meant to put a podcast up last week, but we were in London. Big smoke. London. London. Um. So yeah, that was that was fun. Big yeah. city. We were we were there for well, I suppose Paralympic things rather than just triathlon. Yeah. So we had to get we had to basically get told by professional doctors that yeah, you can't see that well. As if like we haven't already mm, known that yeah. for To be fair it'd be worse if you were like um like what, what would you call it? If you were an amputee. Oh, all right, okay. And you have yeah, to go and get tested. Yeah, there's, there's definitely no arm there. There's definitely no leg there. Yeah, I think you're all right. You're not faking it. Yeah. How would you fake that, though? Like, you wouldn't be able to. Apart from well, just... Stuff your stop. arm down the inside of your jumper and just leave the sleeve <laughs> lying about. <laughs> Duct tape it to your side. Then, yeah. they'd no- then they'd notice when you're actually racing, though. <laughs> yeah. Why, why are you, like, had big, one arm? Why are you bigger on that side? Why is there, like... Why is your body <laughs> wider there? <laughs> It grew under my skin from when I was a baby. I don't know. Sorry. That's probably offensive. Set your body trying to compensate for it. Anyway, we're going to move on before we offend someone or something like that. London. We don't mean to. Yeah, way. no. It's... We don't. Yeah. I was going to say London's a pretty cool place. It I think. I, I mean, I like the countryside, but I think if I had to pick a city to live in, I would choose London. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to live there for a long time because it's very busy and very yeah, noisy. I wouldn't, but... I wouldn't stay in, like, central London. Oh, yeah. yeah you'd I'd stay there. somewhere where you could get, like... A train in, handy enough. Yeah. But I like London. And the underground is very easy to work through. I think that's class. Yeah. Like, public transport is like hop notch. Honestly, unless you're colourblind. But even if you are colourblind, the most like the likelihood is if you're colourblind you, you can you can see normally. Yeah. I hope you can't <laughs> see, see the cars or hear the cars there in the background. It's better with the dog barking. True, true. Um but yeah, London is a good place. Yeah, so you'll notice the title of this podcast is <laughs> Fights, Tights and Long Summer Nights. Chloe thought of that in church, so nice to know I that did, she listens yeah. and pays attention. I was paying attention, just as sort of came to me at the end of the prayer slash the start of the sermon. <laughs> just like, whenever you start to wake up. There about. wasn't much going on, and I was just like, Fights, Tights and Long Summer Nights. That's a good that's ring to it. That's the title of our podcast. So what about fights? What are we talking about this? Is this because I gave you a black eye by throwing a shoe at you? Yeah. Real life. Real life people. We're not best friends all the time. Yeah, like, like 90, 99% of the time we're friends, and then, like, the 1% that we're not, we properly, like, kill each other. I mean, then you, like, just, you just sprayed water at me. I properly went physical. Well, you were, I think you were quite mean to me, but I, I chose violence rather than words. Yeah. I'm not so good at speaking words out loud. I'm good at <laughs> writing words down, but I'm good at throwing things. Anyway, I'm well, not good at throwing things. I have really bad aim. I was aiming for your arm. But you managed to hit me right underneath the eye. You gave yeah. me a big, massive, like. Because I was like, I want to. You, you're really annoying me. I want you to stop. I will cause you pain, but not bad pain. So I was like, I will aim for her arm because that won't hurt too much. And then it was like. Well, I'm bruising my elbow too. So oh, well, that's know. okay. One, one out of three. It's not bad. <laughs> I was, Sorry, I was going to say, it was, shut up. <laughs> See, so you don't even let me apologise. Because <laughs> you're too apologetic. You do it's stuff and then you just get, like, love, major guilt. It's because I love you. But yeah, anyway, what I was going to say was, 
like the one percent time we fight we're like we fight for like maybe 10 minutes and then the next thing it's like just crawling over just like hey do you want to see this funny meme i found on facebook <laughs> yeah. and it's like suddenly best you got again. a little plaid on your face <laughs> It's funny because it's true. So yeah, you like I don't think anyone would ever see us fight. I we try and that's... keep it behind closed doors. <laughs> Although we would be walking along like pretending to be best friends, going like I flipping hate you, Chloe. What the flip are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you when you get home. I'm gonna bother you. But like you know, hopefully no one sees that. <laughs> yeah, they see that we're like angry at each other, like annoyed at yeah. each other. But I don't think they like. I think it's just sort of like a verbal fight, almost not even. Like yeah. physical fight. But anyway, so that was so it's, it's all over. It's all it's all gone. We probably won't fight for another like week, two, two weeks, weeks, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well actually no in this heat. Oh, yeah. No we'll, we'll come to the heat no we might whenever we get to the So what was it fight summer nights? Tights. So what are we talking about tights for? Just Just I saw rhymes. I saw like people talking about tights and I heard people talking about tights and I was like, What is the point? Why would you wear tights in this weather anyway? Like, just go bare-legged in your dress or skirt. But then you have to shave your legs. But, I mean, sorry, lads. <laughs> <laughs> she can't accept me, Harry. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, lads don't know much about tights. Tights are annoying. Yeah. They're just, if you have to wear them, like, fine. But I don't think anyone really does it out of choice. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you wear them because they look good or you wear them because they look nice or they match your outfit or whatever or because it's winter and it's cold. But, like... If if you were if it was like oh I could wear jeans to this I think everyone would pick jeans or yeah. tracks of bottoms, but maybe that's just me I'm not a big girly girl although my dress matches my shoes and I am buzzing because I got shoes for my brother's wedding and then it turned out it didn't match my dress for that so I had shoes that I didn't have anything to match and then I got a dress out of my wardrobe for church today and I wore it and then I was suddenly like hey my shoes might match this dress and then it turned out that they did so I was like yes I can wear my shoes and I like that dress too so that's like the one girly thing that I have allowed myself this week I have a dress to match my shoes moving on Yay! <laughs> yeah. Woo. Okay. Okay. I can tell you're excited. Okay. Just try and calm um, down for if me. If you, if you yourself, listener, are excited, please tweet us. I put pictures on Twitter, and lots of people have liked it so far. By which I mean three. I feel famous. But yeah. Uh, at skit under slash twins. Skit underscore twins for any normal people out there. See. Now it's just become natural because I did it by accident once and, and I'm just, just trying to make it a thing and it's just, I would be trying to say it normally to people that aren't a computer or aren't Judith and I nearly always go to say like under slash and please don't, don't let sounds her. kind of like a wee, doesn't it? Under slash? Under slash. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> people talk about slash <laughs> being a wee. <laughs> Right, okay, uh, Long Summer Nights, let's discuss that part of the title. It's really warm it's, in it's, the UK. It's muggy. Ireland. Muggy and humid and warm. Sticky. I don't mind it during the day. Yeah, it's I would just prefer time. a cold... Our voices probably keep changing in volume. The, the but it's laptop's just... sitting on the bed and we're trying to find a comfortable place to stand well not stand but sit. like sit it's yeah it's hard but anyway no it's i wouldn't mind like i don't mind the heat during the day but see whenever it's warm at night that's just awful yeah like if it was nice and cold at night time so you could still snuggle up under your blanket and then like you wake up in the morning and go outside and it's like ah oh, it's like being on holiday because context northern ireland we don't have air conditioning yeah. and we're also too cheap to buy a farm no i think Someone said that you fill up hot water bottles with water and then you freeze them and then you take them to bed and it cools you down. But I think also if you but could But that get would soak the bed. Like, you know the way... Wrap it in a towel. Mm. I don't know. I wouldn't... I don't know. I probably would mind. But I think if you got an electric blanket and you were able to have a cold setting... So you know the way it heats up your bed, but like then have it like putting ice through your bed. Oh, that would be unreal. The class, oh, but I, mean, I don't... Uh, it would be like the Can technology do that? It would be like Can constant do that? cold side of the pillow. That would be amazing. Like, not in the But like, the heat does something to you. Like, not just like at night time and stuff, but like it... It like makes it, you it, tired. It makes you tired and it makes you agitated, I suppose. Like, it's like... It just, I think it's just because you're so sticky and you're like, oh, I feel so disgusting. Oh, this is awful. Uh, uh, what is my life? Uh, and then someone says something to you and you're like, shut up! <laughs> and, yeah. 
No. Yeah. It's just, it's just strange. Like, we were at the gym on, was it yesterday? Saturday. Saturday, yeah. And we, like, we were just doing our normal thing, like, our normal routine. And we got sort of, like, not even halfway through the first the first thing we I've, were doing. I've been sort of dying all week. I think Wednesday was the worst for me. Yeah. I got, like, halfway through... And I was just, I just wanted to sit down and cry. <laughs> like, and we're never normally like that. We're usually at the gym, we're like pure buzzing. Yeah. But, and I was just like, I just want to go and jump in some cold water, please. Thank you. We shall go swimming this week. Yeah. But outdoor swimming pools should be more of a thing. Like, more <laughs> frequent. Like, there's what, one likes the, what is it, Lido, Lido? I don't know. Things there's one in Belfast, them. but like, I'm not driving all the way to Belfast to go swimming outside. Like, you can't even drive. I th- no, okay, right, way to rub it in. Mm-hmm. Someday I will have my own car. It will drive itself and it will be a wee mini. driving car. I am buzzing to get a wee car. Like, a wee, I, I want a wee mini. Like, it's just, just a wee car for nipping about in so that I can get to the gym without having to walk two miles and depend on a bus that is go- inevitably going to be late whenever it's raining and early whenever it's sunny. Like, I just, I, I want a wee car. Yeah. Or someone to drive me places. If you would like to be Judith's boyfriend, please, <laughs> please, please call send me 07. A tweet. <laughs> I was just going to say send me a tweet at Wee Judy. But no. Um, yeah. That's, that's, well, that's fights, tights and long summer nights. <laughs> Moving on to some other topics. Um, a thing happened in the airport and it was oh. the worst. The, think of the worst thing that could happen in a warm, sweaty airport where there are... <laughs> you could have just said lots. an airport and I was like, wow, there's lots of things worse than what actually happened to us. And uh, lots of flights being delayed and you're just trying to chill. Right, I'm this guy just... walks over and he sits down and it was like at the charging station where you can like plug in your phone or whatever to charge for a while. And so he... it's like, so like bar stools, bar height kind of stools. It's like a tall table. Yeah, we, I was able to stand up at it and I was the perfect height, so like, I'm short, so whatever. Anyway, point is, this guy came over and he sat down and he was like, I've been travelling for 36 hours now. And it was like, oh mate, that sucks so much per you. Um, obviously I didn't say that, he was talking to his friend and I was just kind of like mentally replying. But anyway... I do that all the time, mentally reply to people's conversation. Yeah. Like if they're chatting on the phone or whatever, you just be like, ah, Doris, that's awful. It's no way he actually said that. You should dump him. Oh, he's your boss. You should quit. Like, I you, would. I, okay, yeah. Obviously, I don't say it out loud. I'm just no, like, no, 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 in your head. And okay. in my head, my internal monologue is not that camp. Okay, I was just going to say. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah. Anyway, this guy sits down. He's been travelling for thirty six hours per him, and then me and Chloe were just sitting chatting. We were like, "Do you smell that? It what is like that? really rotten cheese? What is that?" And we looked over, and yeah. lo and behold, this man. I noticed at first. I was like, "Chloe, he has his shoes off." Oh my word, Chloe, he, he has, has his, his shoes, shoes off. off. And Chloe was like, "What? No, he doesn't." And then she looked over, and she was like, "He has his shoes off." Like and that was, should be outlawed in airports, especially if you've been travelling for thirty six hours, or at least like, have a shower. Like, I like okay, fine. You, your feet get warm and sweaty. Fine, like you want to take your shoes off. Do it where there's not a huge crowd of people. Or check the smell of or, your feet. Yeah, first. like I would feel so frumpy. Like surely, like it was so bad. He's bound to be able I think, to smell them. I think you're slightly biased. It's like the smell of your own farts. You tend to like. Like if you fart and you're like, you're like, oh, it's not bad, and then everyone else in the vicinity has fainted because of the smell. Like you're kind of, you're kind of immune to the smells that you produce. No, if I was in a public <laughs> place though, when I farted, I would sort of be like, oh, it smells nice, but I'd still move out of the way because I'd be like, that. I don't want anyone to know that was me. <laughs> you yeah, yeah. fart and run. <laughs> can that be the title? That could be the title too. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, that was that was pretty horrific. Sorry, I found a pen. I'm gonna throw that away because otherwise I'll start clicking it. But yeah, no, that was pretty pretty horrific. I'd say it's up there with smelly foods on public transport. Oh yeah. Tuna on a tuna train. Tuna on a train. Well, tuna's okay because I don't mind the smell of tuna. Tuna. But like, still, I like, wouldn't. I wouldn't take it on a train. Imagine like. The smell of mayo actually makes me feel sick. I can't imagine bananas. someone having like, oh, book bananas make book. just banana mayo. I think tuna is just like if it's warm and on a train or like a, an enclosed yeah. space. It it's, doesn't matter. It's nice. Eat. It's tasty. It tuna is tasty, but you wouldn't eat it on a train. I remember you could eat it at the office or whatever. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> as long as there's a window you can open, I think yeah. you're fine. But like, 
Oh, if the smell is going to just... I think, it, no, I think it's like, I think anything, any food smell that can get up your nose and like you're trapped with it for ages. Yeah. Like even sort of like pizza or fresh bread smell would sort of turn you after a while. <laughs> would turn you. <laughs> is, no, that, I, is that a phrase that other people use? M- make you feel sick? Yeah. It'd be turn you. Turn I don't know, like, I think... You, no, I think you're right, actually, because even with whenever you're babysitting Wayne's, they always smell like strawberry yogurt. I don't know how, I don't know why. But children always smell like strawberry yogurt, and they're always sticky. And, if you're <laughs> sit- <laughs> and I don't know, but like, um, if you're sitting watching a film or something, and they're sitting in your knee, like after a while, you just start to feel really sick. You're like, this smell of strawberry yogurt is making me feel like it makes your head it makes your head hurt first and then you start to feel a wee bit like every time you breathe in you're like "Mm, mm, mm," and then eventually you're like bulk at the smell no but it makes you feel sick like yeah that's what i mean like not bulky but like just i turned you like (laughs) then after a while you're like here do you want to sit beside me instead of on my knee or i need to go and get a drink or yeah like an excuse to make an excuse yeah but why are they always sticky like, even after you've washed their hands and then they're playing with something and then it's like, you're sticky again, how? It's just, they make everything sticky. I suppose. I suppose. Like, children, how do you do this? Uh-huh. What is your, what is this sorcery? Uh-huh. And even if they haven't eaten strawberry yogurt today, they still smell like strawberry yogurt. Yeah. Although, actually, a lot of kids' shampoos and stuff are, like, strawberry scented and it's so good. Why can't we get adult shampoo that's, like, nicely strawberry There's, scented? like, tea tree. There's nothing wrong. I like tea tree smell and things. Eh. It's all right, but I would like some strawberry shampoo, please. Although then it will probably get sickening. Yeah. Well, actually, no, because I have my hair tied back most of the time. So, I don't know. I don't think it would bother me too much. It's funny, though, whenever you, like, you have your hair tied back after you, like, wash your hair. And then later on, you'll, like, untie your hair and just, like, let your hair be down. And you'll just get, like, you'll take it down. It'll just be, like, the, your hair falls out of the bobble and then it's just... <laughs> get in the face with the shampoo but so. that's because i let my hair dry like just naturally on its own and i know it's no, just, there's nothing it's wrong with it it's just it's just sometimes hits you in the face and it's like wow you used the mint shampoo <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i did um what yeah, else have we missed this, like what else have we done this past oh, wedding what three weeks? i missed that oh yeah harry and megan meg han meg han i thought it was a good day it was. It I mean, I wasn't there, but I watched yeah. it on TV and yeah. stuff. It's decent enough looking. I mean, I don't. I think most people tuned in to watch the celebrities and stuff arriving, but I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to watch the actual thing. The um, American Preacher was class. <laughs> I, I, I like the reactions of people sort of like trying not to laugh or sort of going, What's this what is this man doing? That was. That was like, quite, the Queen looked so shocked. He did go on a wee bit, though. He repeated himself. Like, it was. And it was it was good, but then he started going round in circles. Uh-huh. I think if he had kept it short and to the point, it would have been okay, but then he started... I think he was sort of like, this is my time to shine. Yeah. Let's preach the gospel, people! And, yeah, then he just sort of... I sort of went downhill near the end. Like, near the end, you were sort of like, right, okay, I get it. There's power in love. And, yeah. I think that was his main point, there's power in love, but he just kind of went a wee bit OTT with it, didn't he? Mm. There's power in love. Imagine that in Northern Irish... Oh, Peter but you're also... saying there is power, and I didn't mean to go in. Paisley. Paisley. <laughs> <laughs> There's power and love. Like it would, uh, I don't know. I just think it would be more instead of there's power and love. Just there's power and love. Yeah. Just do it in all the accents. Just spend ten minutes doing that. Mm-hmm. That can be your your sermon. I wish you'd sung like the just thing. I called love. I just. Can't handle it. Yeah. He should have just like if it was me, just I would have just into song. yeah, I just burst into song and just just show off all your skills because that is your moment to let people see what you can do. Yeah. Like, no just better time than in the middle of the royal wedding, just being like, guys, this is just my wee CV here. <laughs> <laughs> this is these are my skills. These are the voices I can do. Yeah, um, but, you know, he, like he, like if he had done different voices, I guarantee Disney would have hired him for the next Disney yeah. film. Like he could have, he could have gone anywhere. It would have been good. I thought it was a good wedding. Though. I thought it was, like I don't think it ran on too long, did it? No, it was a fairly short wedding. Like it wasn't. They got married and got out. Yeah. But no, I thought it was. Oh, they're cute. They're a cute couple. 
They are. Harry was so adorably, like, nervous. Yeah. He was, I really wanted to know what they're... Like, I know that, like, at the start, whenever they were waiting, Harry and William sitting beside each other, I was like, I want to know what they're saying. I want to know what they're saying. I want to know if they're taking the mick or if, or if William's being like, it's all right, chill, be great. Or, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but also, you know, that's, like, private sort of, you know... You don't want to be nosy. I, there was, I a, there was a time where they were sort of like, they were looking up the church and they were sort of smiling and waving at people and then sort of like whispering into each other. And I guarantee... That was definitely... Who was that? Who's why, that? Why did you why invite did, her? Why did you invite Beatrice? Oh my word. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> now I was sitting there just like, I had to. She's family. <laughs> you can't imagine those sorts of things. But I think they're very down to earth. I think Harry and William are both very like... Like, just normal people kind of yeah. thing. Harry particularly, but I think he said, like, he's not really into the royal lifestyle kind yeah, like, of thing. He like, doesn't really have to be, because he's not going to be king. Like, he's my- what? One, two, three, like, fourth in line. Is he fourth? I thought he was, like, third. No, because it goes Charles, William, George. So then it's Charlotte. Charlotte. And then, what's the new one called? It's not Henry. Louis. 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 Spelt Louis, but I think it's pronounced Louis. Okay. Louis Walsh. Louis Walsh. No. What are their surname? Windsor. Mm-hmm. So it's Harry and Meghan Windsor now then. Yeah. Well. well, it's like, because Prince Philip, he was like Mountbatten. Yeah, something like that. And yeah. he didn't want to lose his surname. I'm taking this from the crown. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't want to lose his surname. So technically, Philip is Philip Mountbatten Windsor, or whatever his name is. Yeah. So okay. whether or not Charles and everybody Don't kept trust up to. us. We're Northern Irish. Go Google it. Like, yeah, use Google. Google's class. Google's a great invention. It is. And it's, I think we sometimes rely on it too much. but um, I rely on it too much in my family now. I think I'm a genius at everything technical. And it's kind of yeah. like... I just Googled it. I just Googled it, Mummy, please. Just I Google it your yourself. Secret. I know your secret. It's, it's all good. But, yeah. Google. But yeah, we were talking about why we were in London. We said it was about Paralympics, about triathlon specifically. Yeah. Uh, and we're not necessarily going to the Paralympics, but we're aiming there. Eventually. Like, 2024. Not, yeah. I'm going to say 2020, maybe, but like... I wouldn't be I wouldn't be aiming for a podium finish in 2020 yeah. if I were. Like, obviously I would be, but like, I wouldn't get it and I know I wouldn't get it <laughs> yeah I don't know I need it I have a lot of work to do I think or I, I know I have a lot of work to do so like I need to change what I'm doing for training too I think I need to go outside more but then I suppose I'm kind of having to do that transition from winter to summer where yeah and then was... like at the minute now it's sort of like oh but it's too warm outside yeah well no my excuse is my skin's very sensitive I burn so easily I can't and even if I did, I would be like running, so I would be sweating off my sun cream, so I wouldn't be able to. I say that in sun a really cream like, is awful, though. I hate sun cream. I said that in a really sort it. of like I was joking voice, but actually that's genuinely true. Like I would sweat off the sun cream, and then I would burn horrendously, and not be able to move for five days. Yeah. But I'm I'm normally quite good at sun cream. I haven't burnt yet. I thought the back of my neck was burnt at one stage. Well, it was burnt. Not... It was burnt, but just not badly. Oh, okay. Well, it was only sore for like one. One night. Because you covered okay. it in aloe vera. I didn't. I just find moisturizer because... You covered it in aloe vera in I London. Find... Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. Aloe vera is great stuff. Oh, we do the Don't Northern I- Irish Board of the Week, apart from... I would turn you. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> we don't have theme tune or anything no, for no. this, but... Northern Irish Board of the Week! That'll do. Um, our Word of the Week is cope or cope. And would you like to use it in a sentence? Jeepers, boy, that tractor coped into the ditch. And in another sentence? Jeepers, he had that much drink in him, de- he coped. I thought you were going to say coped. Oh, yeah, time, coped. But... Sorry. I say coped, though. Like, it, it sort of depends where you come from, or, like, you know. And what it's like, it... it's a vase, vase, or vase situation. What, what what does coped or coped mean? Fallen me? over, or died, or lost control of themselves. I like, look at that way, and Jeepers, she nearly coped. Running around that corner, or I, I just, I just coped in the rain. I just coped. Uh, you'd just say it if you were like wild tired and stuff too. I suppose it's just similar to saying, "Oh, cheapers, I am dying." <laughs> you said, "I am about to cope." 
But yeah, there you go. That's your Northern Irish word of the week. Try and fit that into a sentence at some point this week. If you manage it, tweet us again. Yeah, let's... At skit underscore twins. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Proud of you. I had to think about that so much. I, I was am... like, do I do it? Do I do the thing? I'm aware. I heard you. I heard your moral compass spinning. Ticking? Spinning? Oh, I, I don't even know. It's too warm to think. And I'm tired because it's hard to sleep when you're too warm and yeah. like sweating and stuff. I got like burny feet. Burny feet. Night. Yeah. Burny feet. Yeah, like whenever you're like your feet just get like really, really warm and like you set them against like the cold metal bit of your bed and that like helps for a wee bit yes. and then it's just like Yes, I know what you mean. Like it almost feels like I don't know. Like they're melting on the inside. Yeah. Or like like if proper. But like the rest burning. of me the rest of me was like Grand. It was perfect temperature. Like they, I had the quilt th- on me, and I was sort of fairly comfortable. They throb as well. Yeah. I think. And I feel like could not. I nearly cried. And, and then I was that tired. <laughs> I was so tired. I couldn't be bothered to get up because I was, I was like, I could go up to the bathroom and like run them in a bit of cold oh, that water. Is a pro tip: if that happens, just run them under the. But then I was out. lying there and I was like, but the rest of me is so comfy right now. It's just my no, feet causing the problem. It, if it gets bad enough, you will not care. You will go to the bathroom and you will like stick your feet in ice cold water and just be like ah, I will sleep no, so here. what I did was I have like above my bed is like a slanted roof um, I'm so looking I just, at it right now I just lay sideways and put my feet on the slanted roof that's a nice plan but did it help? it did but then I was like if I fall asleep my knees are going to buckle and I'm going to just knee myself in the face you wouldn't though I think there's like a thing that's like you know the way I know but if you're unconscious if you fall asleep you, I suppose, you don't yeah, have you control, don't have control but... like if you watch yourself do it if you try and like I don't know like punch yourself in the face or whatever you automatically go softer yeah that's really cool though it's like What's well, your can't... body being like? I'm not going to be a stupid idiot and hit myself in the face. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, that is true. But no, I, I get that too. I got that in the gym the other day and I was like just... Well, it, it's natural to get it in the gym or like while you're running and stuff, apparently. Like apparently. That's, that's like... And it's normal like sometimes in bed, but like... I never got it before. Excuse me. I never got it before in the gym until the other day and I wanted to cry because I was like, my feet are so warm. But I can't like I can't very well just turn around and go barefoot in the gym. Like that would be really weird. People do barefoot whenever they're doing like deadlifts and stuff though. But that's deadlifts. I was on the step machine thingy <laughs> and like I would be terrified of nipping my toes in between. Oh, the things. Imagine. oh, oh I would cry. I don't even like that very that fear even lives with me even whenever I'm wearing trainers, I'm afraid of like nipping. it's like the escalator you're always afraid that like it's like you know it's not gonna happen but you're always kind of like oh what if my feet get stuck this side stuck to this side what if my laces get attached in here and no, they get I stuck think, i don't think i would ever go on an escalator with my laces undone if i did i would sort of jump <laughs> <laughs> just jump off the end i would no that would be terrifying um what else have we got on the list anything um or? visually impaired stories well what time are we at how much 28 minutes we keep we'll we'll, we'll, we'll try and we'll do this and then see where we end up. Okay, so visually impaired stories. In case you didn't already know, Chloe and I are visually impaired. Um, would you like yeah. to? Will we explain it more than that, or do a podcast later at some point? I think we talked about it. Talked oh, about doing a podcast about it. Yeah. Well, we're visually impaired, which means we can't see things. Blah blah blah. blah. We have about one third normal vision. So, like, in the opticians, when they ask you to read the letter chart. It's like H, Z, B, I like a big letter G. and then two smaller letters and then like a row of smaller letters and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I can read the first three. It's the first two. I have the big, biggest letter and then the two below that. Um, I can't read. I can guess the top letter. But see, you can read small print, like on the yeah. back of bottles and stuff. Whereas I can see slightly further no, away. No, no, I want to tell a story. Last time I was in at the low vision clinic in the hospital, they got me to read like that style of chart and I went in confidently going yep that's an H an I and a P and they were sort of like right okay because they're good at not letting you letting like anything slip as to whether or not you got yeah. it right or not Pokemon so piece. I went, went through the whole thing and as, as I was going out I sort of thought oh, you know what I'll take a wee gander at this and S Q like M 
or something like that. It was something completely different. And I was so like, how did I get it so wrong? so wrong? And so confidently wrong. <laughs> That's the worst. When you're confidently wrong. I literally turned to the, like, the doctor guy and was like, are you serious? Why did you not like just laugh in my face and be like, you're but maybe blind. he changed it. Maybe. That's, I'm going to go with that. He changed it. I got it right and he changed it. Yeah. Like, I don't think you could get it that badly wrong. Yeah, because, like, one thing, like, because we were born with our eyes, like, maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's really blind. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We know that's the same thing. (laughs) Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she looked into the sun. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, continue. Um, We were born with it, so. So, like, whenever you're, like, we sort of grew up, like, sort of being able to guess letters, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know the sort of shape? You know that an H is, like, or, like, a small letter H is a line with a wee blob beside it. But then sometimes that could be a B. You have to, like, look at the bottom to see if it's open or... Or you look at the letters beside it to see if it says help or bloop. Yeah. Like, you can... <laughs> yeah, if you, you can... You learn the shape of words nearly. Yeah. Like, especially out in roads and stuff. You I don't know learn, Oh, yeah, that's... That says Londonderry or that yeah. says Derry. That says Corey. That says Belfast. And then it's, it's that weird, one says Balamina. Balamina. And then it turns out, oh no, that's Palomani. Or <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, that's Palomina. No, it can't be Palomina because it doesn't say Palomina height. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the that's Like crack. you learn to adapt and stuff and then... Yeah. Yeah, so we can sort of... Guess. Pretend we're not blind to an extent. Yeah. We can sort of fake it. Even going to cafes and restaurants, though, if the stuff's on the back of the... Like up on the board where you can't see it, I'm always like... If if I know we're going out somewhere, I'm always like, oh, where do you want to go? There's like a pret a manger over there, or like Starbucks. Pret a manger. <laughs> oh, what, what were you meant to say? I don't know. I know that I love they just call it pret. Okay, well, well shall we, we go to pret? We like I try and work out where we're going, or I try and work out what cafes are in the vicinity, and then I Google the yeah, you Google, Google the menu. menu, and I'm like, well, that looks nice. That looks nice. That looks nice. Or else I would steer us towards somewhere. I'd be like, oh yeah, let's go to Starbucks, guys. Yeah. But I don't even like Starbucks that much. I get diet. Well, you don't like you don't like coffee. Or I get like diet that, coke so everywhere. Cafes but... are sort of handy enough for us. Cause yeah. it's like, could just get a diet coke or like seven up free. Is that cool? Cheers. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think restaurants are bad, but like most restaurants have it online. So you sort of you arrive at the restaurant, you sort of like, okay, right, this is called Fitzroy's, right? Gonna Google that Fitzroy's dairy menu, and then you just you just search up the menu and then sort of go, oh look, that looks good. But then generally, at that you get handed the menu anyway. Yeah. But then if it's a some fancy restaurants are so dark. Yeah. It's like Hollister. <laughs> we have yawned again. Um, no, sure we went to Pizza Express with Colin and I couldn't read the menu because it was like tiny writing and it was really dark. And, and you were tired. I was tired, so my eyes were like shaking more, which is called nystagmus or dancing eyes. Or stigmatism. Stigmatism. And I had to get Chloe to read me the menu because I can see further away, but she can read smaller writing. So Chloe read me the menu. <laughs> So that was... when you ended up getting one, you didn't even like it. We can't remember what it is now, so if we ever yeah, go back, we we're go probably going to order the same thing again and be like, this is the one we did not like. I liked yours, though. No, yeah. but I think you ordered the one that I didn't, didn't like, like and then, they, yeah. they swapped them around. They gave us the wrong ones, but I didn't know what it was meant to look like anyway. But, yeah. So, blind stories, or visually impaired stories. We already talked about the underground and how it's fairly easy, but, like, I don't know. In my opinion, I don't think the public transport system is good enough for visually impaired people. Yes, yeah. for blind people who have canes or dogs, fine. But if you're, like, we walk around and we don't have a cane or a dog or anything. No, but I think that's just society as well, in a way. This is getting really, like, serious. Why are we doing this? <laughs> but I think, no, but like, you, know, you could walk up to someone and be like, excuse me, could you read that there? And they'll be like, you're having a laugh, mate. And it's like, no, seriously, I can't see. And... It's kind of hard to make them believe you unless you turn around and walk into a pillar. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't look like we have anything wrong with us kind of thing. Although if you if you had a proper look at our eyes, you'd probably think we were having a fit or something because our eyes shake. But yeah. Or if it's like a bright day, we'll just be like squinting, squinting in your high. face like, hey, how's it going? And it's like you're, you're standing in the shade. I know, but it's still really bright outside. It's like the last couple of times we've been in London, like we've sort of taken it in turns as to who's going to be the properly blind one. 
and we sort of linked arms and sort of you ever see yeah, the blind ones. Up, yeah. And then the other person has to pretend to not be blind. Acting. But that like and that's that that's really the only way you get help. Yeah. Like not that we're we're not ones to normally ask for help. But we like in London sometimes it is useful whenever you're in train stations. Yeah. Or else we have a wee like monocular, which is like a binocular but only for like like a it's, mini it's telescope. Telescope, mini telescope. And we would use that, but like we would take it and like we wouldn't both be using it at the same time. So I know whenever Chloe's using it, I would be sort of just looking around and you see people staring. Like they'd be looking up at the Stop moving your arm so much. Sorry. They would be I just hit the laptop now. They would be like looking up at the board and then they would suddenly be like, oh, What's she doing? And then they'd be look, like, they'd be sort of subtly. Yeah, because I noticed that in the airport. Glances. I was doing that in the airport because our flight was delayed and we were sort of constantly trying to keep an eye on it. And I took charge of the monocular. And I think it was just because you were in a more prime position yeah. from where you were standing. But I know that there was a man standing next to me and he I would that. not stop staring at me. Every time I brought it out, he was just, he stopped what he was doing. I think he was on the phone at one point and I he stopped st- talking. I stared and back at him and looked at me and I was like, right, yes, I'm trying to read the board. Thank you very much. I was like, people don't realise that like we still have some vision. Yeah, like, they don't realise. Like, it's it's like sometimes in cars and stuff, I forget that people can see in through the windows, and I hope be dancing around. And I suddenly oh, like, do that too. Thank you other people can see in. Forget <laughs> that people can actually see. Or you'd be like dancing, and then you'd realise other people can see, even if I can't see them, they can see me. Or like mouth yeah. words to a song or something, and it's just sort of that sudden. All oh, right, yeah, okay. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> kind of like, kind of if you've ever like, I don't know, sort of got too comfortable in a public setting and like, I don't know, like gone to pick your nose or something like that, and then just been like, what have oh, I done? Up? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. That's what it's like. Having it's just our eyesight. Like, like it's that heart stopping moment when you realise I look like a complete fool. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. Kind of like almost walking into the male toilets. Yeah. That's then you have to like if that no whenever that happens you properly have to play up the blind yeah you you feel around and you're like oh that's the braille for meal okay <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before well, I've felt seen the I've seen like the meal I was like I have to go for it so I put my hand up and I knew there was I could Is see there the braille on the door yeah I could see the braille on the door so I went across and went the braille on the door and went that's not my toilet <laughs> that's not <laughs> my toilet. <laughs> Where was it? I hope I, hope I got it? away with it, but like you know, I properly went for it and sort of staggered through the door. <laughs> and I found the female, just read the read the braille on that. I don't read braille. <laughs> I th- I know some numbers and I know like A B C or something like that. I know basic. basic I can't remember braille. what airport it was in, but it was in an airport whenever we were on holiday, and I walked into the toilet and I was like, hmm. There's some weird looking sinks. And then I was like, those urinals. <laughs> a board, a board. <laughs> I've never run out as fast. No one saw me. I don't think, yeah, there was no one in it and there was no one outside. So I was fine. But to be I... fair, whenever we were in London in Victoria Station, I saw a guy confidently walk into the woman's toilet. I saw his face <laughs> drop for a second. <laughs> as he realised where he was, but he just owned it. He was just like, you know what? He was, like, he was, he was quite old. So, you know. He could maybe get away with it. He was going to tell me he had like dementia walk, or something. Did he walk into a cubicle and yeah, just sort of go with he just, it? He just went with it. He was like, you saw his face drop slightly because I was waiting for you, so I wasn't doing anything. He saw his face drop just slightly. Down the stairs. He saw his face drop slightly, and then he just sort of went, no. Nah. <laughs> this is why I confidently walked into a cubicle. I think a couple of other people sort of noticed, but I think everyone was just like, you know what? He's owning it. Fine. <laughs> and also at the minute, it's currently like you know. Gender neutral is sort of trying to make an entrance. I think that's you know, just maybe people were kind of like he's making a good point. I don't know. I think gender. I think I would feel really awkward. I don't know. I'm not. Let's not get into that. Let's let's just. Not. I would feel awkward. That's, that's yeah. A, like, cause anyone could walk in. They could be like, oh yeah, I don't identify as a male or a female, but like, really, it could just be like just being pervy. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit. But but you, then how do you from, control that? Yeah. But I was gonna say from my story you now, even. Like, even now, I would walk into a toilet that I'm not 100% sure, and I would walk in and be like, yes, no urinals, I'm right, and then, like, be happy. And you wouldn't say it out loud, though, obviously, because that would be a bit weird. I think I whispered it to you at one stage, I was like, yeah. no urinals, yes. And then I realised that there was people in the cubicles, and they probably heard me. It's so <laughs> weird, though. Like, toilets are a weird place. I don't know if that happens in male toilets, but, like, you just get every, you just hear everything. Like, no one but holds back no, but if you're with your friend. There's people who are confident, who are, like, like sitting in a cubicle and talking to their friend, either next door or waiting outside, and there's other people who close the door and that's the conversation paused for now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like there's I think that's there's what we would two, do. Two kinds of people. Well, if like if we were in the bathroom by ourselves then we would sort of continue but as soon as someone walks in it's just silence i don't know i have pee anxiety so if i think anyone's listening or hearing me pee then i can't do it <laughs> this is a corner <laughs> off at lady hill you need those <laughs> japanese toilets that play music yeah <laughs> something to just cover it up like i know at school that it was always like you waited for someone to use the hand dryer and then yeah, you're like, someone, someone, moment. someone else to flush yeah and then that was your that was my time shine but yeah that's I'd like to chat to a guy and wonder, and like, I just want to know if is is this a thing in in male toilets days? <laughs> I assume so. I reckon standing a urinal is probably pretty awkward. Yeah, you get quite intimate you with are people. Basically, <laughs> you are basically just watching each other pee. Well, I mean, I assume you wouldn't look down. Yeah, no, I assume I you sort of look around I, you and no, sort of go, oh, that's no, nice. No, I think one of the rules is you don't look around you. You just look straight down and do not let your eyes roam. I think is that not? I don't know. I would, I would assume that would be the rule. That's what. How are you? Look, just look straight, ahead. <laughs> straight ahead at the wall, just like I'm not looking anywhere else. Yeah, no. Uh. Well, that went a wee bit ski whiff, didn't it? <laughs> ski whiff is a great word. Is that an actual word or is that a Chloe made up word? Uh, ski whiff. I don't know. Um, no, I, I think that's an actual word. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Maybe not in the Oxford English Dictionary, but yeah, I've heard it being used. Okay, fair enough. Fair news. Um, yeah, royal weddings and do you have any other blind, blind and... stories? <gasps> no, I do, I do. This happened the last time I was in London, and uh, right, you know traffic lights. Everybody yes. knows traffic lights, right? We all know so traffic lights. We red man, we green man. Usually, walk whenever there's a green man. Usually, usually, as if it's different in other countries. Is it? Is there countries where it's different? I don't know. Yes. That would be so confusing. No, it's got to be universal. Because otherwise it would get confusing. Well, no, well, like in America, they don't maybe don't have... like. Well, oh, yeah, they say don't walk. Well, they just have don't walk and walk. Yeah. They don't have well, any. in films, yeah, <laughs> they at least do. Never been to America. Anyway, continue. We Go green on. man. Yeah. I don't. I normally don't wait for the green man all the time. But I think it's clear. I just bolt across. And, yeah, so I was starting right next to the road. I was quite busy. A lot of people behind me. And I was sort of like, you know what? Sort of, sort of looking left and right, you know, highway code and all that, um, crossing code, whatever one it is, the hedgehog one where they do the king of the road, king, king of the road, but yeah, that, um, or is it the one whenever they're like, there's not gonna be a another death on the road, that one, but anyway, <laughs> those ads where you learn to cross roads, I do that thing, I do the look left, Look right, look left again, if all is clear, I thought it was quickly. I thought it was look right, left, look right again. Whatever one it is. Why you look you both like... ways twice. But no, but that's... But if you say look left, right, and then look left again, that's only three times. You need to do left, right, left, right then. Well, suppose if you do right, left, right, because right is like your closest side. That makes sense. That's the side you're crossing over first, but what which means you... cars will be coming towards you. I suppose, yeah. Okay. Anyway, continue. You, you were crossing oh, the road. Oh, yeah, I thought it was safe enough, so I decided to walk on ahead across the road, and then I re- like that's whenever I realised there was a big crowd of people behind me. And I was sort of like, guys, guys, I can't. Guys. <laughs> you have no idea what you've In got yourself head, into. In my head, I started panicking, going, have I just led these guys to their death? <laughs> I have caused the murder. I have caused the death of all these innocent Cause, people. Because like there could have been like a London bus or something coming, and London I would, I would stop. I would have been able to bail across, but if there was like you know 13, 14 other people behind me, they wouldn't have been able to bail across with me. Yeah, and you would have been okay, but those yeah. people would have been. But then if there's a crowd of people, then I think people are more likely to use their brakes harder. I know, but if they're flying, then there's no hope. Yeah. I but I just, I just felt all of a sudden really sort of like <laughs> responsible <laughs> and just, yeah, vulnerable almost. I've, London is a scary place. I, I, I'm bad at roads. I don't wait for the green man either, but I'm a lot more risky. <laughs> and you can see further than I me. I can see further than you, but I'm sort of like, I think I'm, I'm either more cautious than you or I'm like, run. Like, just more risky kind of thing. Yeah. I've almost been run over by several buses though because I always I'm always like, yeah, it looks clear enough, and then I'm just like, oh, I didn't look properly, and then yeah. I don't think as it's long you're less cautious, you're just less, I don't know, focused, focused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, kind of like, <laughs> nice <laughs> <fair>. <laughs> be all right. But yeah, that's probably right actually. But yeah, you know, 
people blare their horns at me, but I'm just like, I can't see properly, not my fault. Oh, like, I need, like, a badge or something. Or, like, what I want to do is make a wee sign and a wee, like, lollipop stick. <laughs> Visually impaired saws. But, like, then you'd have to carry that around with you all yeah, the time. that's why I said a lollipop stick, because it would fit in your bag. Oh, I thought you meant, like, a lollipop stick, like a lollipop man. Or a lollipop lady helping you cross the road. Oh, like, okay, no. One of them big... You laughed at me in London when I tried to do that. I was trying to be... <laughs> I thought you were great. I thought you were a great lollipop man, lady. Lollipop lady. <laughs> so we were meeting up with a friend and we were going to Tesco because we were like, it's warm outside, we'll just grab something and then like sit in a sit in the park or whatever, sit in the grass. And there's part of the road and... We there, was no there, was no there was no cars coming. There was no cars coming. But there was no, yeah. No cars, but no green man. So I was like, you know what? I'll be the lollipop lady here. So I just stood in the middle of the road and went, Mom, you were all across. across, like waving your hand, like, come on, over we go, let's go. You guys laughed yeah. at me and I was like, I'm taking this job so seriously, okay, guys? I I was laughing with you. Okay. I thought you were great. That's okay. Top always. job. I can't remember if I was laughing or not, or hire, I was just like in the zone. Hire her. Hire me as a lollipop. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> I might not see the cars, but they'll stop for me. Yeah. I mean, you'd be wearing high vis, so like you could just step out and be yeah, like, I mean, no, I'd... this is your time to stop. I would take the hit for the kids. Would you? Yeah. Oh, yeah could you step out first and then you're I would step out, out first and then like I'd get a hit and then the cars would be stopped. And, and then, then I would just be like there. lying on the ground groaning going, run across. <laughs> run across. The cars are stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you have like broken ribs and everything just like yeah it's clear now you can go oh that would be that would be really really kind. i'd keep lollipops in my pocket to eat like a proper I remember, there was there was there a lollipop person in in claudie that used to keep yeah. lollipops and they used to give you a lollipop whenever you crossed the road although maybe that was just like a one day kind of thing yeah uh, Although I reckon, like, if you kept crossing back over the... I reckon he only gave you, like, one lollipop. And then was like, ha! I've seen you before. You'd have to have a really good memory. I would forget. I would be like, I've seen you before. And then be like, no, you haven't. And I'd be like, okay. And then give them another lollipop. But to be fair, Wayne's would just have a lollipop in their mouths, probably. And just like, I don't know if you have. We've never seen me before. <laughs> Kids are bad. We've been through everything in this wee podcast it's today. It's been a roller coaster. Of a thing. I hope the sound quality's okay. Oh, yeah. I'll have a listen and probably just put it up anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Craig James got engaged too. That yeah. was another thing. Congratulations. Do you think he was just trying to show up Chris Stark? Chris Stark got engaged That's what too. I was going to say. It was like, all Maybe that's why he sort of held off for a bit and then sort of... He was what? sort of like, I can't really... Because like, he said he got engaged in February. Yeah. And then, like, you know, there was the Greg Athlon and all that sort of stuff. And then... Yeah, there was so much happening. But then it was, like, he announced it the day after he said he was taking over the breakfast show. So, yeah, like... so I suppose those sort of, like, big announcements and just get it all over and done with. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Double celebration. I hope I get an invite. I wouldn't accept... I probably wouldn't go because I would be like, I don't know anyone there. And I'll just be like, hey, how's it going? I'm I'd make a complete night. fool of myself in front of, like, celebrities and stuff. Like, I'd try to be cool and be like, hey, hey, Scott Mills, what's the crack? Like, um, actually, I'm Prince Harry. <laughs> Imagine comparing Scott that. Mills and Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. But I'm, to be fair, I'm to be fair, it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so like bring out your disabled person's bus pass or something. Just like visually impaired, it's okay. <laughs> I would like to go just so that I could be like, this is how we do weddings in Ireland. Get in, rock the boat, Cotton Eye Joe, getting some jive. <gasps> waves of Troy, waves of Troy. Just, just like all the wee classic. Did you almost say waves of Troy? Is it not the waves of Troy? It's not waves because you're going up and down like waves. I thought it was waves of Troy. I'm sure she said it's waves. Cause you st- I don't I don't know now. Cause I you're, always, going, you're going over and well, over. Yeah, I, get, I get your I get your logic now, but I always thought it was the you could stop doing the hand movements. I know no one else can see, but I can. I always thought it was the wheels of Troy. Oh, it's waves of Troy. It's definitely waves of Troy. Okay. Well, there you go. If you don't know what any of these dances are, tweet us or at skit under slash twins underscore or Google it. Google's our friend. Oh, Google doesn't really have much on Jive, and it has like the. What about YouTube? I'm pretty sure YouTube would have Rock the Boat and stuff. Yeah. But it's like, it's not like classic jiving. Yeah. It's like modern. It's like country country jiving. Yeah. It's Which is different. A, it's class. definitely different. And then you've got... Because I know that I've tried to search like 
jive in to try and sort of like improve my jiving. Yeah. But it's always been sort of like that. I always search. Like 1940 style jiving. Oh, what a tune that is. What's that called? What's that tune called? Dude, dude, I don't know. It's in the parent trap. Is that not? What's the song by your mom? It's a really famous one from like the 1940s. That's probably it, and I just can't remember the name of it. Your mom. Your man. Oh, you know Von Boy. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> Churchill. <laughs> They're not musicians. <laughs> I can't remember. I'll Google it. Um, Google's great for everything, isn't it? Um, but yeah, no, that's that's why I would want to. Go, that's why I want to go to any kind of English wedding. If you're having yeah. a wedding in England, invite me, and I will teach you all these class songs. Or not class songs. Class like party games. So and just dances just and if you, if you want a good DJ for maybe an hour, <laughs> I could probably do half an hour. <laughs> and then just we'll do the games and then go. <laughs> yeah, I we could be like like you know the way you hire a DJ. Like we could just be games people pre DJ <laughs> pre DJ. <laughs> Work off for dinner warm and then up get gig. drunk. <laughs> yeah, we'll be the warm up to the DJ. Yeah. So um, that's at skit underscore <laughs> twins underscore underscore. Did I say it right? Oh, wait, no, yeah, that's I the right underscore. Oh, yeah. no. I was like, got you. <laughs> no, did I did great. So yeah, uh, if you would like us to do these podcasts more frequently, yeah, let us know. We're getting more and more listens. And we enjoy doing it too, as yeah. we keep saying, which is why we keep doing it. Like it's we're not doing it for the the views or the listens. That's not why we do this sort of thing. Or like even YouTube or anything. Like that's that's not the point. Yeah. Well I suppose to to an extent we're sort of using it to get our names out there a bit. Yeah. And maybe try and get into the acting or voiceover or radio industry. Yeah. But But like like we just do it because we enjoy it though. Like yeah. that's it's like it's not like Oh yeah, if I get into the radio industry, I can make loads of money and buy a really fast car. And you, yeah, you won't be able to drive a car. A right? dog. Oh, um, yeah, dogs. Well, yeah. I can get a free dog anyway. I can get a guide dog. Can, can could we actually? I think so. That's really cool. We have to do like a cane training course and stuff too, though. Yeah. I want to get a cane just to have because I think it'd be handy. And like, I saw a wee girl and she must have been about four and she was using she must have been learning to use her cane because her mum was with her and holding her hand and going right make sure you wave it in front of you like you learned and I was like that is the cutest thing fair play to you all go you like like a cane gives you so much like well not like so much independence but I think it gives you like a fair bit of independence. It also means that like, you can have the footpath to yourself if you want you just wave it around and be like move I can't see. <laughs> Sorry. That's but the thing is, would we be able to use a cane though? Like, because we sort of managed a lot of places by ourselves without a cane. So, like, if we turned up with a cane one day, would people just think we're taking the mic? Yeah. Like, that's my worry about learning to use a cane. Like, if we did it in Derry, would people just be like, no, I've seen them for years just walking around? Yeah. And then, like, it's one of those things where, like, we we wouldn't necessarily need a cane all the time. Yeah. It would just be in certain situations. Yeah. So then you put it away and people were like, you were supposed to, you used a cane yesterday, why are you not using a cane? And I was yeah. like, well, like, R&IB or someone like that, can we get like a blind card? No, but <laughs> like, I can... you know, Or like, you know the way, like, guys, I'm going to play the blind card here. <laughs> like an no, actual legit that's, card. That's a thing, because you're either blind or you're not. That's the yeah. way people see it. They don't, like, visual impairment is sort of a hazy sort of, ha, 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 that's funny, <laughs> a hazy sort of place in the middle where no one really understands what's happening. Yeah. So then, like... Like, that's what I mean. Like, if you if you have the opportunity to use a cane, I think you should have, like, almost a cane license. Yeah. So you can bring it out and be like, no, look, I actually have this eye condition and I can't see, or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or, like... I didn't. But just, I, I didn't just buy this cane off eBay. Can you buy canes online? Yeah. Is that that should be illegal? That shouldn't be allowed. I think that is where the issue is. Mm-hmm. The fact that if you can buy them, like just like easy enough without like a prescription or like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think the fact they're readily available. Like I think that's the issue here. Like I think that a lot of them sort of like sell them as like dress up things, but like they look like genuine canes like yeah. they have the roller bit on the bottom like if you were going to say it's dress up you wouldn't have the roller bit on the yeah. bottom you would just have just like a flat bottom or whatever and you there just should be some it. sort of like legal like you, sh- you should be yes you should be whatever. able to buy it online but you should only be able to buy it from like specialized websites that you like can prove like you have to sort of like send a medical document or yeah. you have to be registered with them or whatever to buy it yeah like have proof yeah to be able to yeah 
we should be like working for can we cut this bit out and then just put it sent up the RNIB <laughs> no we'll just tweet them it's fine we've got this <laughs> yeah, if you could just give this a listen from <laughs> from 35 36. minutes <laughs> three. <laughs> oh you went for 35 I went for 36 I wonder how far through we are 54 54 oh. Lad, this is the thing with this podcast, though. Like, we're sort of like, we have things planned for about, you know, 20 minutes, and then sort of 20 minutes goes by, and it's kind of like, is it really long enough? And then we sort of I said 28 past. minutes, and then we were like, oh, yeah, we'll do stories about being blind. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. Like, we sort of struggle, and then we're sort of like, oh, you know what, we'll just have a nice wee chat, and we end up Side just... note, blind jokes are okay. Yeah. Because we... Like, well, mm, as long as you mean them as a joke, and not as a way of sort of, like, slyly bullying us. Yeah. That's true. That's a fair point, actually. Like, we're willing to laugh at ourselves, as you can see from our videos on YouTube. Like, we make a wee bit of it. We, we poke a wee bit of fun, but, like, if you're gonna... But also, at the same time, we poke a bit of fun, but we're also trying to be educational, too. Yeah. Like, I think... How would you say it? There's, like, a line. Yeah. And you don't want to cross that line. But I think it's it's kind of okay, because we ourselves are visually impaired. So I think we're allowed to dance a wee bit closer to that line than, than other normal sighted people. people. Like some jokes we would sort of say in front of our like normal sighted friends and they wouldn't know whether or not to laugh. If we make a joke, laugh away. If you make the joke, mm, I mean if we laugh and you think it's a genuine laugh then you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think 54 minutes is pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say we'll go through how to find us. So YouTube, search Skit Twins. Um, I think we're actually the top result now if you search Skit Twins. Um, it used to be some other stuff, but it's now us. Um, so keep searching Skit Twins and finding us on YouTube. And I do that all the time whenever like, I'm like sharing the videos on Twitter. Same. I can't be bothered to go <laughs> on and like scroll down. I'm just like, Skit Twins, back off. Um, Facebook.com slash Skit Twins. Uh, Twitter, as we've said several times, at Skit underscore Twins. Is Instagram the Instagram same? is Skit under slash Twins. Underscore Twins. Um... Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's the four. We thought about making a Snapchat, but... Eh, nah. Snapchat's kind of on the way out. Yeah. But yeah, uh, SoundCloud, if you're listening to it, give us a like. Can you, you leave can, comments? No, you can share it and tweet us or whatever. Yeah. Uh, can you iTunes. tag things on Facebook? Could you tag us on Facebook? Yeah, you it? can tag us on Facebook. That would be good too. We appreciate all kinds of mentions. Like, seriously, if you do listen... Like, let us know. We want to know if it is a fault with the system that we're getting 2,000 listens or if people are actually listening. listening. Yeah. Um, iTunes, again, search. Please leave us a review. I was going to say, you can I'm find us if you search Skit Twins or whatever, but we'll have the links everywhere anyway. Um, but yeah, leave a review, like a rating, five, four, three, two, one. Just leave a rating, whatever. Yeah. Um, and a review. Yeah, a review and share it. Definitely share it and let us know that you're listening. Um, Where you're from as well, because sort of we're, it says we're getting views from or like listens from America and Japan and v- the UK Vietnam and the UK. France and yeah, all like all over the place. I want to see where people are, like mm. whether or not it's sort of like geography gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, I just I just really want to know if it is a fault with the system or if people are actually listening. Yeah, that's my main thing, sort of sciency kind of. I don't know. But yeah, tweet us or tag us on Facebook or Instagram or whatever and let us know if you're listening, where you're listening, how you're listening, what you think of it, what you want us to talk about next time, what you don't want us to talk about next time. If we've already covered something and we just keep mentioning it every podcast. Because I'm really paranoid that we do that. Cause I'm pretty sure we've done that with our eyesight. Yeah. Explained that like six times, but sorry. But yeah, I think that's us. Yeah. Take care. Be good. Make good choices. Aye. And until next time, you can't use the laptop clicker. You have to use the mouse. Bye. Bye.